breath yet? Huh? Caught your breath? Yeah, I just caught it. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was a crazy run. I was super tired. I was trying to figure out which celebration I could catch my breath on. I figured what better celebration than to go to sleep. <laughs> what did you see on that play from, you know, from Mullins? And how did it do? Um, I kind of watched on film uh, that when they kind of had two by two or whatever, uh, if he didn't have anything, he was going to try to throw it to the back. So I was trying to make it look like um, I didn't see the back and then, uh, you know, went and threw it to the back or threw it to the guy over the middle and just broke one and caught it and then, you know, tried to score. Make sure I didn't get caught by a quarterback because I would never hear the end of that. <laughs> Where did the belt come from? Huh? Where did the belt come from? Uh, we have it all the time. Um, it's uh, something that we do every Thursday, and um, you know, this week it really happened last week, but we forgot the belt. But um, you know, this week the the strip of tents was tied, so we we said we would sell it on the field. So whoever got the most turnovers on the field gets the belt, and so the linebackers had the belt. So it's by position group. It's by position group. When was the last time that you sprinted 98 yards? If you can remember that. Uh, never. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't even remember it. I think that was my first pick six in my life, I think. Um, and, yeah, like I said, I just was trying to make sure the quarterback didn't catch me because if he did, uh, everybody's going to uh, give me a little crap. But uh, it was uh, extra nice to, to be running along the 49 er sideline. I tried to look at Sherm. <laughs> you, you and Sherm were having a pretty animated conversation after the game. What was that about? Um, he was just telling me that I was slow. And <laughs> I told him if I was slow, then what does that say about his team? So he was just kind of talking trash. That's my brother. You know what I mean? It's, um, it, it was an amazing time for us to you know play with each other and to see him on the opposite side and the other jersey that he looks up me in. Um, it was cool. When you look at, you were talking about um, making sure the quarterback didn't catch you. When you approached him, what were you thinking of maybe trying to juke him or just run by him and outrun him? No, I was going to keep, keep going. Shoot, I think I was like 50 yards in by that, that point, so I was losing my breath already. So I had time for the juke, so I just put my head down. Even pregame, the coin toss to get the you know family off the side of Sherman there, too. How do you describe what it's like to be looking at the guy you played so long with you know, on the other side of the field and be able to have to play against him? Um, like I said, it's just, it's kind of like, uh, you know, playing your brother, you know, it's, um, um, it's one of those things where, you know, you hope he does good, but you hope he do better and you win. And that's kind of how it was, you know, I just wanted him to, you know, uh, play well, uh, be safe, um, healthy, but, uh, you know, have us win and, and put up a lot of points, which we did and, and, um, you know, it's cool. And so we'll see him in a couple of weeks. Three, three in a row for you guys. How confident is this team coming to this December? Uh, we're very confident. Um, you know, I think it's a thing that we preach is trying to finish, and um, you know, that's just what we're trying to do. We have we're in a position where we kind of control our own destiny, and you know, we have to treat each game um, like it's a championship game. You, got, you can't overlook any game just like this game. Uh, Could have been easy for us to come in and see a two and nine team and and kind of relax, but um, you know, we came in pretty focused and um, just wanted to make sure that we came out with a lot of energy and. You know, keep building towards the season uh, end. You know, we have a lot of stuff that we need to get, you know, improve. Uh, we gave away too many yards in the passing game, and um, you know, but it's always good to, to walk away with the W. Your coach has sent you and the linebackers more. How that today? Uh, it was amazing. Uh, I think you should do it a lot more often. <laughs> I think you should be in the game plan every week. Um, but now nah, we we knew that uh, if we we applied a lot of pressure that uh, you know, was going to kind of get in his face and we were able to kind of attack them early on and kind of rattle them a little bit. And uh, we definitely feel like it kind of helped set the tone in the game. So um, you know, hopefully it's in the game. With the, with the interception, the touchdown, sack, forced fumble, have you had a better game than, than this one? Uh, statistically, I, I don't know. It's up to y'all. I mean, I felt good. You know, obviously we had a lot of, uh, you know, the, the two big plays in, in the red zone. Um, we're pretty good at kind of keep points off the board. Um, and I'm just trying to do my job. You know, I appreciate uh, the D-line. You know, they kept me pretty clean today. Um, you know, appreciate the secondary for kind of, uh, you know, doing a great job and allowing him to kind of throw it in my area so I can pick it. So, 
Um, you know, I, I play, I play good, but it, it, you know, it was more my teammates, you know, helped me out. Than Austin Calicro's starting in for you guys at ten tackles, two for loss today. Just how important has been to him as a first kicker? He's been, he's been great. You know, it, it, every time you know he got his number called, he's came and, and made plays. And um, like I said before, I feel really confident when he's out there. You know, we have a great relationship, and I think the communication is is, is really good. And I feel like the more and more he gets out there, the more and more he gets uh, used to everything, he gets more comfortable and starts making plays. You see him make plays in the backfield, and um, you know he's just having fun. And that's kind of what we just want to do. Is just it's, it's football at the end of the day, and you know he's been been great for us. It looked like Doug got Sherm's jersey after. Did you got you and Sherm exchange anything at the book game? I wanted the black jersey, so I get the black. I mean his house is kind of still in Seattle, so I'm pretty sure I see him at some point. Is the black one less ugly than? Huh? Why, black one less ugly than black. Why is it like black? Black just looks really, really good, you know. So the jersey might be ugly, but um, it still looks really good. Uh, by the way, Nike, if you guys want to make black jerseys for the Seahawks, that would be great. Anything else? Thanks, Bobby. Appreciate it, Bobby. <coughs>